Hello, this is Phantom2502, and welcome back to Satisfactory Let's Play Episode 10 for Update 4. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to uh, automate our smart plating and our copper sheets, and maybe if we have time, uh, after chopping some wood, I think, I think we need to get some more supply of that. Well, do we need more supply of that? Eh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, we will get the uh, space elevator up. All right. So let's see. First things first. Uh, let's try to get rid of this research stuff. All right. So that need more of those things. All right. Cable, no, wire. It's wire, not cable. <laughs> Alright, so we get the resource sink. I don't think we need to build anything right now for that. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanets bonus program. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Alright. Okay, that's what those things need, but let's get the smart plating going because we're going to need that to run for a while to get our space elevator. Um, to build that, I think we just, all we need is an assembler. So, four, you know, four rotors? I think we got rotors automated, don't we? Let's see if we can just pick some up. There we go. That's good. Also, I think maybe getting the smart plating, uh, sorry, not smart plating, but uh, the smart splitters running will actually be good because I think we can actually reduce this to like two rows instead of, let's see, what is it at now? Five, six, seven, like eight, nine rows. Alright. Yeah, let's see, we have our plates and our rotors out here. So, it's a good spot to put our assembler. There we go, we'll do that. Smart plates. There we go. And use reinforced iron and rotor, which we do have constructing right now. Alright. Do a splitter. Won't do an exact split for this one. Uh oh, there we go. Here you go. Uh -huh. Oh, it's interfering. Okay. We can fix that. Obviously need power. Where's that power pole? There we go. Bring that out here. This doesn't have a, a rotor working. Oh, there's a rotor coming. Plate. 
Now the rotor is split evenly because I think it goes four per minute and this takes half at two. Uh, but the reinforced iron plate I think does five a minute. So two and a half will come this way, which means this will overflow. And once it overflows and backs up to there, then three will go that way and into storage and two will come here. Now, will this one work or not? Can't tell. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't look like that's... Can I even get this way? Not really. Alright, well... I guess we'll go back a ways. Climb onto our spaghetti. And then try. Oh, it does work. Nice. Uh, that way we can use it to climb too. All right. That means we gotta do that. Yeah, getting this uh, running is really needed to. Is really needed for. Uh, to get the uh, space elevator or the uh, tier three, tier four parts going, it takes a, pro a good 50 minutes, I think, to build the right amount. So getting those started means we can get the other things that we need running afterwards, like the uh, copper sheets, and get the space elevator running. Get some more um, trees going for power. And I think we'll make another run to our uh, Caterium uh, mining area. See if we get something from there. Uh, organization, storage. Oh, it does not like it. Why not? I don't know. There we go. Man, that's tall. There we go. That's automates the smart plating. All right. Let's get the last thing researched. Jump pads. Uh, let's see. We need 50 rotors. Oh, we're not even close to that. 350. Do we even have those other two? Uh, no, we got 300 of that though. Yeah, let's get some more cable. Then we're gonna have to construct some rotors, I think. Only four screws. Screws going. <clears throat> there we go. That'll unload jump pads. 
Which, to be honest, I don't really use the use power and... Milestone reached. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. I personally don't use them. They use power and they're a little inconsistent. Um, maybe I'll use it this time. And Usually instead I'll use uh, either conveyor belts to go up and fo down or I'll just build uh, foundations to go up and down. But I guess if we try to minimize objects, maybe it's worth doing some few jump pads. And maybe we'll experiment with them this time. We don't know. As for the resource sink and the shop, uh, we'll build some later once we start getting a little too, a little bit of overflow. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get those copper sheets working. So for that, let's do one more biomass burner and the constructor. Now, which we can already build. That's good. Let's get all of this and get everything up. Way, sort the 112. See, that's why we need to get <laughs> more of that after this runs out. We don't have much left, and we do need some time to put the biomass into solid biofuel. So, I think right after we get these copper sheets working. And stored, uh, we're gonna do some uh, chopping for some fuel. All right, production constructor. All right, good enough, I guess. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. 5%. Um, yeah, we can only do 15 copper ingots per minute when we split this. Let's go to 100%. And so does that. There we go. That's what, seven and a half a minute? That's good.
be honest, I'm surprised that worked. Uh oh. Yeah, I thought that slope was going to be too steep, but I guess not. Nice thing about smart splitters is we'll be able to have multiple different items go per belt because we can split items back into their containers using smart splitters. So we can definitely get this down to like one or two, well, one layer here and two layers uh, I guess when we start storing stuff instead of I don't know what's there right now like eight, nine, ten. I think it's ten layers now. At this intersection. Right that there. Now, I think this is enough for this direction since this is all. Oh, should probably add the organization for this. Alright, foundation time. Now for this one, instead of putting it right beside it, uh, since those are the initial items and these are the tier 1, tier 2 items up to the uh, space elevator part, uh, we'll put the other items facing the center over there and then put our space elevator kind of in the middle and then put all the storage like squared around the space elevator. I think that'll look make it look nice so I have everything squared around the space elevator for all our parts except for the initial parts which will kind of come down this row to our hub and past it we don't need to go that far for this one uh, let's go there whoa Wrong one. So we can do that. Not too far over, but 
still far enough. Oh, wait a second. That's messed up. You are supposed to have one there. Oh. That doesn't help either, does it? Oh no, that's not going there. That's for smart plates. on copper sheets there we go into your storage location you go Good. Ooh, that's way too tight. Tight, but acceptable. It's slightly tighter than there. But that'll do. And a little bit of decoration for these. This way, we can show what's in the container. Nice. All right. And then out here will be your space elevator centered here. Hopefully that'll look nice with all the storage containers around it. And then a nice path coming straight back to our hub and into our factory, our land factory. All right, um, let's try to get some uh, MAM research working. That just needs sheets and rotors. Rebar gun. Then we can get rebar after and actually have a gun. Well, that'll help. Uh, see, there's nothing else here to unlock. Alright, so I think we're just gonna go chopping down trees now. Um, we're almost getting to the 30 minutes, so I think we're gonna end the episode a little early here, at around 25 minutes. So, this will be the end of episode 10. Um, Glad you came and watched it. This is my satisfactory let's play. I'm Phantom2502. This time, 
Uh, we automated our smart plating and our copper sheets. Next time we will do some chopping for some solid, more, more solid biofuel production. Uh, we will go get some uh, more Caterium to make our way a little bit better on Caterium research and hopefully get some smart splitters and we'll build our space elevator. Join me next time. Preps 11, this is Phantom 2502. Bye-bye.